Why would you need tools like TypeScript for building applications? Well, take a look at this JavaScript code. I have this cost variable, and then here I'm doing cost.push. And the push method only exists on arrays. But this code we have here is sort of fine in JavaScript. Now, let's say you push this code to production. You try to run your application. Now you get this error on cut type error. Cost.push is not a function. The same thing happens if we should run this JavaScript code in a Node.js environment. See, we have an error again. Type error cost.push is not a function. When building applications, you definitely don't want such type errors going to production. You want to be able to catch this kind of errors in development so that when your code gets to production, you have a bit of guarantee that things won't break. Let me show you another example. I have this function called total. It adds all the items in that array to return the total. But then here we say total one, two, three. We didn't put this in an array. This also kind of looks fine in JavaScript, but then you only realize it's not fine when your code gets to production and it is run. We have another error. Numbers array dot reduce is not a function. And that's because numbers array here is going to receive one and one is a number and a number doesn't have the reduce method. Here I have this object, but then I'm trying to evoke the print name property like as if it was a method. This is also going to throw a type error because print name is a string and not a method. You don't want errors like this in production. And now you're probably thinking, why would I ever do this? I can be very careful not to make this kind of mistake. Well, firstly, you're not perfect. When you work on projects where modules and functions and variables are used in several parts of your application, especially when it's a big application, you may never know when you create a bug like this that can only be discovered when the code is actually running. Also, when you're working on projects that involves multiple people working simultaneously, it becomes very important not to give room for this type of errors. So how do you ensure that a code like this doesn't get to production? Or how do you ensure you get immediate feedback in development of what what you might be doing wrong. And there are several tools and solutions for this. One approach could be writing tests all around your applications. That could also help you find errors like this. But one of the most popular solutions used for writing type safe applications so you avoid type errors like this is TypeScript. Just to show you a bit of what TypeScript looks like. So here I have the TypeScript version of the JavaScript code we had previously. I have this cost variable, which I've said should have a string type. Now, when I call this push method, you see TypeScript throws an error. Property push does not exist on type string. But then if I should change this to maybe an array, of numbers. Don't worry if you don't understand the syntax. You can see everything works fine because this is an array of numbers. And so TypeScript knows that an array has a push method. 